A golf ball has a mass of 46 grams and is initially stationary. The diagram that we have shows the variation of force in kilonewtons against time for the force acting on the golf ball. So we want to work out an estimate for the kinetic energy of the golf ball after it is hit. So what does this graph tell us? When we have a graph of force against time, the area underneath that graph represents impulse or the change in momentum. So we can get the change in momentum from the area under the graph. If it's stationary to begin with, then that means that the change in momentum will just be the momentum of the ball after it is struck. So what is the area? So the area underneath our graph will be, so half base times height, it looks approximately like a triangle. We're only after an estimation, so we don't need to be too precise. The base is 16 milliseconds approximately, so about 16 times 10 to the minus 3. And the height is about 0 0.6 kilonewtons, so 0 0.6 times 10 to the 3 newtons. Multiply those things together, and we end up with 4.8 newton seconds. So we're after kinetic energy. An equation for kinetic energy that relates momentum and mass is p squared over 2m. So kinetic energy is p squared over 2m. So if you've not seen this equation for kinetic energy before, I'll just quickly derive it. So momentum is equal to mass times velocity, and kinetic energy is half mv squared. We can replace the v with p over m. Kinetic energy then becomes a half m p over m squared, which is the same thing as, so just looking at the numerator, m times p squared, the denominator 2m squared, and that simplifies to p squared over 2m. So this is an alternative equation for kinetic energy that doesn't involve velocity, just momentum and mass. It's quite useful in physics, it comes up every now and then, so it's a useful one to memorize. So then we can put in our momentum of 4.8 newton seconds and our mass. Our mass in kilograms would be divided by 1000, so that would be 0 0.046 kilograms. Put that into our kinetic energy equation and we end up with 250 joules. So that would be C.